as we deal with this uh, both uh, financial and political emergency that has split the two sides in Washington. Back to the financial, we saw you the we showed you the closing numbers on the markets today. At one point, the market fell as if down a well over 700 points. And with late day trading here, we're at 689. Uh, these numbers, as we said, are still changeable. We could see a close conceivably uh, 700 or larger. Michelle Caruso Cabrera has been watching this along with us for hours now. Uh, Michelle, are, is it possible to crack 700 still? It's possible. And after hours trading, there's a, maybe if we're waiting for some stocks to still close in the Dow 30, we might be able to see that fall. But those big numbers aren't the only ones. When you look at stocks, that just tells one part of the story. We also saw oil fall dramatically today, down $10.5 per barrel because Wall Street is very fearful that because this did not pass, because the banking system cannot be unclogged at this point, that it's going to lead to a slowdown in the United States and a slowdown all over the world. And that means people driving less, using less oil because they're manufacturing less. We also saw a lot of people piling into what we call the fear trade. They bought gold. They bought treasuries. There's a government debt, U.S. government debt, because despite all of this, the U.S. government is still considered the best debtor in the entire world. If anybody's going to pay you back, so far, still, it's the U.S. government. Michelle, let's bring this down to the local level, which you've been doing for us all afternoon. Let's say I own a small business, uh, 25 employees, and I, uh, I have a warehouse, and I ship out uh, textbooks. Uh, how am I going to feel this, and how soon? If you're that business owner, you probably have a line of credit or commercial paper. And think of that like a lot of individuals, for example, every month use a credit card to pay their gas, they buy their groceries, they do whatever with it, and at the end of the month, they pay it off, right? Commercial paper or lines of credit are like a small business's credit card. They've got an order for something, they need to be able to pay their employees, they need to be able to buy the parts for whatever they're going to manufacture. So they use that credit card to do all that business. And when they deliver that order, those textbooks or whatever, they get the money from the person that, that bought it, and then they pay off that commercial paper or line of credit or the equivalent of a credit card. Well, right now, the banking system is so clogged with mortgages, there's no credit available. And so a lot of people out there, a lot of small businesses can't get a line of credit. They can't get commercial paper. That means maybe they have to lay off employees. They can't buy parts. It stops business in its tracks. Michelle Caruso Cabrera and Michelle, I should tell you that while you've been speaking in the lower corner of the screen, oh, there it is. There it is, 738.42. Wow. That eclipses the uh, previous larger single point drop record. When the market reopened after 9 11 on 9 17 01, it went down a, a widely anticipated 684 points. Uh, but now we're down 738.42. Now, in percentage terms, you have a whole different argument. But clearly, uh, this uh, a defeat in the House of Representatives today of this so-called bailout package was the shot heard round the world.